welcome back. Uh, so today I'm going to be showing kind of what I go through to try to get out of the house. We have to run errands. Um, we have to go pick up something for the business and well, we have to go pick up because one of our vans uh, they're my needy children. We have to go pick up um, these magnets that go on the van because one of them is not wrapped. So we're gonna go pick up these magnets and then we have the doctor's appointment uh, with the surgeon for Vincent today. He is gonna be telling us, well I hope, I hope we get like a plan as far as what we're gonna do. <laughs> with his um with his little growth so hopefully like they give us an answer for that and hopefully they set a date for his surgery because i'm pretty sure he's gonna have to get surgery so uh, hopefully everything goes good so that's what we're gonna go do today um i tried to get ready i still need to change um i need to change them i need to change their diapers um i need to get them ready so we can actually leave Okay, so two under two is the hardest I think I've ever, no, is the hardest age I think it is to deal with. I think I'd rather honestly have twins because at least twins, they're on somewhat like the same schedule because they're like the same age, so they require like the same things. These two are not, look at Vincent is almost two. Uh -huh. Benjamin is almost one. He already had a nap, the little one, Benjamin. Benjamin had a nap already, so he's kind of good. This guy hasn't had a nap yet, and maybe he'll fall asleep in the car. But see, that's another thing that's challenging, okay? When they fall asleep in the car, to get out, to get them out, like instead of everything being like, okay, let's just get out and go get the stuff, no. It's, okay, I have to get down the stroller. Um put them both in it and sometimes Vincent gets grumpy because I wake him up and it's his nap time and I could wait until after maybe um, his nap but then I won't be able to make it back on time for the appointment Ugh. so I'll just let him sleep in the car kind of like a it's a little drive over there so hopefully it's not too bad but yeah this is what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna try to um, get them dressed <laughs> get them dressed um, get them changed so we can head out okay so i'm going to show you right now what i go through to even change them because Okay, so I finished Benjamin, but just changing him. Um, I'm going to give him a break and then do Vincent. <laughs> and then I'll go back and do his hair. That's how I usually do it. Hi. Ma. Hola. Mira. Hi. Are you going to be good today? Mm, oh, don't lick me like that. I don't like it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Ah. Let's dress you, okay? <laughs> oh my god. I had to stop because Vincent had butted Benjamin. And he was crying and he couldn't stop crying. And then now he's upset. This is where we're at right now. So I changed them. I just need to um, do their... I need to do their hair. Okay, that seriously just took forever. So now I gotta just gotta change 
myself and then get the kids in the car and yeah so i don't know the time it's probably been like 30 minutes <laughs> just to try to get them like dressed and everything yes right now when i get in the car i'll talk more <laughs> Okay, so I made it to the doctor's. Uh, we're about to go in right now. I need to get that kid out. So we'll see what they say. Hopefully, it's good news. I'm, I'm honestly like, I'm kind of nervous. Okay, so we just got out of the doctor's. Um, walked to the surgeon, and he said he's surgery is obviously like the best option to remove his thing his mass his tumor his lymphoma lymph lymphoma is what they keep saying it is <laughs> Woo! so he says it's a lymphoma lymphoma so it's um, like not cancerous or anything like that so now we know for sure what it is he wants to do surgery and it's scheduled for I'm smiling because Fernando's like in front of me and he's like making faces at me. So it's scheduled for July 2nd, which is honestly like a week away because today is June 25th. It's June 25th, so his surgery is for July 2nd. Um, They're gonna keep him for a day. Like he's good to go right after surgery, but because he's so little and they don't know obviously it's surgery so he might have like a little pain and Telenol's not gonna you know help as much so i think they're just gonna i think that's what he said he said that they're gonna keep him for a day just to make sure you know everything is good and because of his age he's not even it's right before his birthday too so i'm like wow okay um, but you know what it's better because they're trying to take care of it as soon as possible so I did I am like you know thankful that it is like on on the sooner side so that we can get this resolved and we can finally put this behind us uh, so yeah that's it um, I it's been a crazy crazy morning um, right now we are going to go um, still run the errands we were supposed to pick up the magnets earlier but that was it was a change of plans and I ended up going and doing something else so now I have to go do that but I came to the house to pick up Fernando